Hello and welcome to Groundhog Graphics Retro. In this video, we are going to install Jiffy DOS in the Commodore emulator Vice. It's not that difficult, so let's get to it. So, first things first, we need to get Jiffy DOS. And where we get it is from a site called Nightfall Crew. I'll put a link to the uh, I'll put a link to it in the description of the video. Um, let's go ahead and scroll down and download Jiffy DOS. Now, my recommendation is to select Jiffy DOS Complete, uh, VIC-20 PAL plus PDF Manual. However, you can select Jiffy DOS Full ROMs and Manual separately. So now I'm going to open up my X64 shortcut. And when we get into the emulator, then we will be able to change the settings for our um, drive ROMs and be able to select our Jiffy DOS ROMs. Okay, so now here we are, Commodore 64 emulator. Now we have no menu, right? If I do Alt B, then I get the settings menu. I go to settings and I go to settings and then I go to I go to actually I go to machine ROM go to machine ROM and I have drive ROMs now here are the ROMs that is included with your vice and we're going to change these some of them to Jiffy DOS so let's go ahead and start with the 1541 hit browse now I have Jiffy DOS already here, but I'm going to go ahead and search for it. Now I'm going to go down. Here's my Jiffy DOS folder. And we have Jiffy DOS 1541. Double click. Ah, That one, for some reason, doesn't work. But I'll go ahead and what I'll do is show you how I fix this. So we go browse again. Jiffy DOS 1541 is right here. And we will go. What's the visit file? There we go. Visit file. Right click. Copy location. Now, let's go back and put it in manually. I don't know why this one is the only one that does this. So I pasted it. So now it is pasted in. Now let's go to 1541.2. This one will work fine. So if we go to binary, we go to Commodore 64, we go down to Jiffy DOS, and we go to Jiffy DOS 1541.2 binary. Now it's in there. There's some problem with this 1541. Uh, menu option in Vice. Don't know what it is, but we can manually paste it in anyway. And then let's go to 1571. Browse. 1571 D. Now actually, there's a 1571 D bit binary, and there's a 1571 REPL with some numbers. Don't know exactly the difference, but 1571D is probably for the Commodore 128D, uh, which is the cost reduced uh, version, the metal case. And that's probably what this is, but what the difference between the two are, I'm not sure. So if 1571D doesn't work, use the other. There we go. Now we go to the 1581 and hit browse and 1581 bin now you have to go to your directory and select it 1581 is done 2004 I haven't used these so now Jiffy DOS should be ready to rock and roll almost except we have to go to machine ROMs the kernel is a standard kernel 
we need to change this to, it's not listed here, we need to go to Jiffy DOS, Jiffy DOS C64 binary. This will be the kernel ROM. If you don't do this, Jiffy DOS won't work. So you have to replace the kernel in the C64. So now that's replaced. Let's close. Let's go ahead and completely restart Vice. Now make sure we now make sure when you're in settings, you have save settings on exit selected. If you don't have this selected, then your settings will completely revert to what they were before. Yes, let's exit. Go back up. Open up Commodore 64 emulator. Oh, now look at the screen. We have Jiffy DOS. Let me make it full screen. Alt D. Now we have Jiffy DOS 6.01. So let's go ahead and let's try uh, attaching a disk, which would be Alt 8. And I'll go with uh, Power C MP. And now, <clears throat> with a Shift and the Escape key, now we're in it. Okay, great. Let's get directly listed. Works good. Let's try MP percent. Let's see if that works. Yep, and it does. So there it is. Now Jiffy Dust is installed, so they'll be way quicker in a disk access. And that's all for this video. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, like it if you don't like the video go ahead and click the don't like and i will see you guys in the next video bye